With its dense jungle and Caribbean shoreline, the Central American nation of Belize is an exotic location unlike any other. Though the nation is inarguably best known for the impressive scuba diving opportunities it offers visitors, scuba diving is only the tip of the iceberg. Join Vucation as we explore the best things to do in Belize. Scuba Dive in the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef System If you've taken an interest in traveling to Belize because you're an avid scuba diver, chances are you're already well aware of the second largest coral reef in the world. This, of course, is the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef System, which is colloquially referred to as the Great Mayan Reef. No scuba diver should go their lives without getting an opportunity to swim through the Great Mayan Reef. And it's no wonder the reef has helped make the nation of Belize one of the most ventured to tourist destinations out there. Some of the many sea creatures you'll get the opportunity to see include sea turtles and whale sharks. There's also the immense beauty of the underwater fauna comprising the reef with its otherworldly array of colors. Whether you're an experienced scuba diver or not, you'll certainly be compelled to try it out once you've found yourself in Belize. Spend some time relaxing on Cape Calker Belize is known for its stunning variety of Ks. One of the most popular is Cay Calker, which has come to be known for its quiet and secluded atmosphere in compared to other tourist locations. If you're looking to make your stay in Belize as peaceful as possible, taking a journey to Cay Calker should be a great place to start. It has plenty of coast on its eastern side, and tourists can waste away the days relaxing without much besides the sound of the ocean to bother them. The small island is filled with a variety of eateries offering local flavor that visitors will greatly appreciate. One of the most popular is what's called the Split, which is a location where the island was split in two by a hurricane in the 60s. The little body of water that was created as a result is recognized today as a popular location for scuba diving and also features a nice pier. Go snorkeling in Shark Ray Alley Located along the shores of Ambergris Cay, which is Belize's largest island, Shark Ray Alley is arguably the most impressive part of the whole Chan Marine Reserve. The name of the location stems from its abundance of both sharks and stingrays, and they're safe to swim with. There are plenty of snorkeling tours held for tourists who want to swim with these stunning sea creatures, and doing so will provide a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Marvel at the Great Blue Hole the Great Blue Hole is a giant marine sinkhole just off the coast. While it's understandably popular with divers, it's hard to really appreciate the magnitude of the Great Blue Hole without seeing it from the sky. Because of this, taking scenic flights over the sinkhole has become incredibly popular. Visit Laughing Bird K National Park Laughing Bird K is one of the many Ks that can be found off the coast of Belize, but this one is notable in that it was granted national park status in 1991. The island's name comes from the fact that it was once widely populated by laughing gulls, which are birds that sound like they're laughing when they give their signature call. These laughing gulls are no longer around, but that doesn't make this beautiful cay any less rewarding to visit. It's located just off the coast of Placencia, a popular beach resort village. The main draw of Laughing Bird Cay National Park is that its national park status means the land is relatively unspoiled, providing one of the most stunning getaways that visitors to Belize are likely to find. The island is only a little less than two acres. Before we tell you more about the best of Belize, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Go exploring in the Rio Frio Cave The Rio Frio Cave is located within the Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve, which itself is located on the western side of Belize. The cave has come to be known as one of the most accessible caves in the region, and the fact that it's dry means you don't have to submerge yourself underwater to see it. The Rio Frio Cave is one of the few dry caves that can be found throughout Belize, which makes it fairly special. Visitors enter the limestone cave through a 65-foot arch and then are treated to some of the most staggering rock formations in the world. The cave also has historical importance, as many believe the Rio Frio Cave to have been used by the ancient Mayan people as a place for burials. This theory didn't come from nothing, as there have been a few notable relics from the ancient culture found by archaeologists exploring the cave. Despite this, Rio Frio Cave remains more popular with tourists for its natural beauty, and few are aware of the cave's cultural significance. There's a small river going through the cave, and visitors can follow it all the way through to the end for a short hike. Visit the ancient city of Carasol If you're interested in seeing more relics from Belize's ancient Mayan culture, you may want to check out the city of Carasol. Carasol stands today as a large archaeological site, and it's incredibly popular with tourists. 
The city has come to be known as one of the most finely preserved archaeological sites in the entirety of the nation, and visiting it will provide tourists with an unmatched experience. It's located within the Chiquibul Forest Reserve. Archaeologists have been able to deduce the city was once home to nearly 200,000 ancient people, and numerous pyramids still stand today. Attend the Belize Lobster Festival Belize is a nation that's come to be known for its seafood, and it takes it pretty seriously. Each year, the Belize Lobster Festival is held at three different locations, San Pedro, Cay Calker, and Placencia. While the festival held at Placencia is arguably the biggest, each of these festivals provide a bounty of local culture to visiting tourists. The three different versions of the festival are held at slightly different times of year, though always during summer. This sadly means not everyone visiting will get the opportunity to visit the festival. But if you find yourself in Belize during summer, you certainly won't want to miss it. Of course, the main draw is the lobster, which is served in a variety of different dishes, some of which are unique to the culture. Once you've filled up on lobster, there's plenty at the Belize Lobster Festival to keep you entertained. It's like a big party with drinks and music. Visit the Cajal Peck Maya Ruin Another notable archaeological site is Cajal Peck Mayan Ruin. This ruin is located a short distance from San Ignacio, which means it's a good deal easier to access than the aforementioned archaeological site of Carasol. But visitors should know that Cajal Peck is not nearly as large or impressive. Archaeologists estimate Cajal Peck was home to only around 10,000 occupants. The location was popular amongst traders. Check out the wildlife at the Belize Zoo. If you're looking to check out a wide array of wildlife in one accessible location, don't pass up the opportunity to visit the Belize Zoo. The zoo was started in the 80s and has since grown to feature a staggering array of wildlife, much of which you won't see anywhere else. Another appealing aspect of the Belize Zoo is the fact that the majority of these creatures were rescued. This is a zoo that promotes conservation, which is a welcome change. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Belize? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.